indeed, indeed, terror. That's what we have here. That is Mrs. Tropical Tent Web Spider sitting on her tropical tent web, which looks not unlike the w net that is used to catch trapeze artists when they plummet from the trapeze and bounce around on. But she's not alone. She has two husbands here, saucy minx that she is. There's one over here. Um, oh, in fact, there are three. Mm, there's one there, the little one in there. You see that one there, Craig? Mm, yes. Yep. It's difficult to actually point them out. Oh, in fact, these are not males. Those are not males. Sorry, those are kleptoparasites. Those are the Jacob Zoomers of the um, of the spider world. And then here is the male. There he is. There. Very small, much smaller than the others, and he doesn't have that mercury drop on him. Now, I wonder if I can't perhaps remove... Did you see the mercury drop, Craig? Yeah. You did. Okay, so they shine in the sun and they look like water, and we think that's why they don't get devoured by the big owner of the web, who, of course, is Mrs. Tropical Tent Web Spider. But the intricacies of this are quite astounding, and how it's designed, of course, which many of you will know, is that an insect flies into one of these knockdown threads, which are not very sticky, and then down into the net underneath, and that net is very sticky, and that's where they get caught, and that's where she'll grab them. But the knockdown threads themselves are not sticky, so you know, see, I can touch them, and I don't get my hands stuck on them. They go all the way up here, all the way to the top. And I suspect she, I mean, she must maintain this web almost on a daily basis. <clears throat> I don't know if she rebuilds it, but she must do a huge amount of maintenance on it. Because it is extensive, and I suspect it's quite old as well. Hugh, you want to know they're dangerous to humans. Hugh, they're not dangerous to humans. There are very, very few spiders in South Africa that are dangerous to humans. The button spiders, the um, six-eyed crab spider, and the violin spider are pretty much the only ones that are dangerous to humans. The sack spider can be as well, but there are various different kinds of sack spiders, and many of them completely harmless. There's one sack spider that is what we call medically significant. And the tropical tent web spider is not medically significant, and I don't think it would do any harm at all were it to dig its fangs into you. I suspect it might try and defend itself if you picked it up. It might try and bite you, and certainly some of the jumping spiders can give you a bite that feels a little bit like a fawn's been stuck into you. But other than that, really, uh, you know, I think it's more the physical pain of having your skin pierced rather than any actual venomous or envenomation. So no, they're not very dangerous at all. Far less dangerous, of course, than this. There we are. That, of course, is a deeply toxic substance, and that is the latex of the Tambuti tree. Now, Taylor